kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be solving a problem which is related to rohan and halse plan the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question as and how i am solving the problem please look into the question mr a proprietor of small engineering workshop producing specialty products by employing five skilled workers so there are five workers in his workshop okay and that proprietor he is planning to introduce some incentive plan so either through halse plan or rohan plan so some incentive plan he is planning what is that incentive plan means a wage payment for increasing the labor productivity now he is planning to increase the productivity of the labor to cope up with the increased demand of the product so he is feeling that there is a demand for his product so now he wants his workers to produce more products because there is a demand for the product so which is 25% more demand is there so what he feels that if we propose some incentive scheme so if we tell some special schemes for his employees that employee scheme uh, the employees will produce 25% more products so he is thinking that then that employee can produce 25% more product if the company assures the employees to give 20% more wage payment so what he will tell that to his employees see i will give you 20% more wage payment so you have to increase your productivity so now they have given us some data the hourly rate of wages guaranteed wages is rupees 2 then the average time for producing one piece to, to produce one piece the worker was taking 2 hours now then the number of days working days in a month so in a month the employees are coming for the work that is 25 days and each day they are working 8 hours then total they have produced 625 units now see here first what they have given they have given hourly rate so they are getting rupees 2 per hour so per hour they are getting 2 rupees next is what they have given they have told us that the number of units produced so number of units produced so this has been produced that is 625 units and there are total number of workers how many workers are there there are five workers okay now time allowed for producing each unit they have told so time allowed for each unit so for each unit 2 hours 2 hours can be taken to produce one unit so one unit the company is allowing the worker to take 2 hours so one unit na produce madake 2 hour time kodta idare total 625 units produce madabodu madidare so what will be the standard time total unit produced is 600 and 25 okay into to produce each unit they are allowing you 2 hours so total it will be 1250 hours this is the standard time now let us see what is the actual time taken actual time taken so there are totally five workers and they will work for 25 days and each worker will work 8 hours per day so 5 into 25 into 8 when you do it you will get 1000 hours so this is actual time taken now we know standard time and actual time taken so we can calculate time saved time saved is how much it will be 1250 hours 
minus thousand hours it will be 250 hours so 250 hours is the time saved now let us calculate the earnings first based on the halse plan modlu navu halse plan basis mele earnings na calculate maarana first let us see the bonus what is the formula for calculating bonus under halse plan it is 50% of time saved into rate so it is nothing but 50% of time saved is 250 hours and rate is rupees 2 so it is 50% of 500 is nothing but 250 rupees 250 rupees is a bonus given to five workers now to calculate for one worker we need to divide 250 rupees by 5 so that time you will get 50 rupees so 50 rupees is the bonus earned by each worker now let us calculate the earnings if you want to calculate earnings the formula is time worked total time a worked or hours worked into rate per hour plus bonus so time worked for how many hours they are working these employees these five employees are working how many hours means here let us calculate total each employee it is he is working 25 days isn't it and each day they are working 8 hours so 25 into 8 into 2 rupees is the rate plus bonus is 50 rupees 25 into 8 is 200 200 into 2 plus 50 that is 400 plus 50 is nothing but 450 rupees is the earnings earned per worker under halse plan so under halse plan the worker is getting 450 rupees hope you understood till here now let us calculate the total earnings per hour earnings per hour so total wage is how much total wage is 450 rupees isn't it but the worker how many hours they are working each worker is working for here we have found out is working for 200 hours because he is working 25 days plus 8 hours in a day so 25 into 8 will be 200 so 200 hours he is working so 450 rupees he is getting for 200 hours so per hour how much he is getting if you want to know that we need to divide these two let us divide 450 divided by 200 you will get 2.25 rupees this is per hour he is getting 2.25 rupees now the same thing let us calculate on the basis of rowan plan so first let us calculate the bonus the bonus formula in rowan plan is time saved plus divided by time saved divided by standard time into time taken into rate so here what is the time saved the time saved is 250 hours the standard time was 1250 hours the total time taken is 1000 hours into rate is 2 rupees now divide 250 by 1250 you will get 0.2 into 1000 into 2 into 1000 into 2 when you do this here you are getting how much so we are getting 400 rupees 400 rupees is the bonus for five workers if you want to know the bonus for 
first one worker then divide 400 by 5 so you will get rupees 80 per worker now we need to calculate the earnings so to calculate earnings it is time taken into rate plus bonus time taken here we know what is the time taken for each worker we have found out that is 200 hours into rate is 2 rupees plus 80 rupees bonus so 400 rupees plus 80 so here he is getting 480 rupees so each worker is getting 480 rupees so now we need to calculate earnings per hour so this 480 rupees he is getting for the total working hours that is 200 200 hours he is working so for that 200 hours he is getting 480 rupees means per hour he is getting 2.4 rupees this is what he is getting per hour so now till now you understood this is on the incentive scheme here we need to calculate the labor cost per piece labor cost per piece now we need to calculate labor cost per piece now first one is without any incentive so by chance before before he thinks of giving incentive scheme how much it was the rate is 2 rupees only and to produce 1 unit 2 hours was required so it will be 2 into 2 it will be 4 rupees so rupees 4 now if I want to calculate it on the basis of Halsey plan then the formula is total earnings into number of workers divided by number of pieces produced divided by number of pieces produced so total earnings under Halse plan is how much here we have found out it is 450 rupees so 450 rupees into 5 workers are there then they are produced 625 units so it will be 2250 divided by 625 so it is coming 3.60 rupees so actually it was now what is the savings what will be the savings so actually it was costing 4 rupees but under Halse scheme the labor cost is coming how much 3.60 rupees so he is saving rupees 0 0.40 rupees He's, he can save under Halse plan Halse plan alone no? 0 0.40 rupees the save man bodo. now let us calculate same thing under Rowan plan total earnings is how much it is 480 rupees so the total earnings will be 480 rupees there are 5 workers and they have produced 625 units so 480 into 5 it will be 2400 and 2400 divided by 625 it will be 3.84 rupees now let us see what is the savings is doing actually it was costing 4 rupees but here under Rowan scheme uh, it is costing him how much 3.84 rupees so he is able to save rupees 0 0.16 if you see here calculate the savings of second question in our question calculate the savings of Mr. A in terms of direct labor cost per piece and above both the scheme so if you see here what you can observe is that Halse plan helps him to save more money rather than Rowan plan. So Halse scheme brings about more saving than Rowan plan. But he has told to the lab employees that he we will give him 20% increase in the wage. So he is telling that he will give it to employees 20% more wage. Now let us calculate whether that has been satisfied. See. Halse's plan is giving see bonus 
Halse plan is giving how much bonus? Halse plan is giving 50 rupees bonus and Rowan plan is giving 80 rupees bonus and their total wages is 40 rupees. How we got this 40 rupees? That is nothing but time taken into rate. Time taken is 200 hours, rate is 2 rupees. So we got 40 rupees. Now see here. Now let us check for Halse plan whether there is an increase in 12% or sorry 20%. So the formula will be 50 divided by 400 into 100. If you do this that is 50 divided by 400 into 100 you will get 12.5%. Now let us check row and plan here he is giving 80 rupees bonus. So here you will get 20%. So he had told his employees that 20% 20 20 increase he will do. So only row and plan gives the employees 20% bonus. So the row and scheme may be adopted. The row and scheme may be adopted. So this is all about this problem. Hope you have understood this problem very well. If you have any doubt, kindly watch the video again and get your doubt clarified. And if you have any doubt, you can please put it in the comments. We will try to answer your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.